This video is brought to you by Scopic.com. Get yours now. Hey guys, welcome back. This is FullFrontCage.com and this is the BlackBerry Key 1, the latest QWERTY keyboard enabled smartphone, which is there's a very small number and people have been asking BlackBerry to launch such phone for a very long time but BlackBerry was just like you know running around from our simplest desire to have an Android running just simple phone like the BlackBerry Classic or the BlackBerry Passport and BlackBerry was just simply ignoring it and brought us with a brand new device built by TCL is a Chinese company um, that's the company behind Alcatel and here we have the latest device is called the key one so here is the packaging itself we're going to put it right there and see what it has inside that packaging so here is a little packet that has a sim card removal tool well sim card tray removal tool and the number of quick start guide and the safety guide and the warranty those kind of things that you're not likely to read until something radical happens and here's a little charger this is from the UK so it has the those three plug outlet and um, three plug plugs for the outlet and uh, it supports 5 volts 2a or 9 volts 1.67a so quick charge 3.0 enabled but the charger itself is quick charge 2.0 but it shouldn't be of any problem just use it properly anyway and here is the earphones here's the earbud with the little blackberry logo right there blinking shining right there and the ear tips for you to replace and the USB type C cable is right there of course because it's got a USB type C port on the device so the phone is off now this is a QWERTY keypad enabled phone so it's got the physical keyboard right there and there is physical button on top right there well they're touch enabled but they're still going to be there whether you'd like it or not back home and multitasking and here's a little screen protector protecting that 4.5 inches of a 1620 by 1080 resolution display that's a rather very unorthodox uh, ratio but um, we'll go ahead and explore that just in a second there's a power key and moving on to the right side we have the sim card tray that allows you to add up another micro sd card on top of the 32 gigabytes of storage and a volume rocker and convenience key so it's a shortcut key so you can assign any app to that button along with the 52 different shortcuts that you can assign to each and one of those keys on top we have a earphone jack and the secondary microphone for noise cancellation back uh, on the bottom we have a speaker microphone and the usb type c port right there moving on to the rear and removing the protective plastic it gets us the blackberry logo and this is also pretty soft uh, soft rubbery those kind of like unslippery finishes and the camera that's a 12 megapixel camera sony imx 378 f 2.0 camera so that's pretty much it let's go ahead turn it on and go through the settings all right so here we are at the launcher so i can tap and hold on it to customize there's an icon pack settings blackberry launcher is pretty similar to the stock android but added up a few touches i can tap and just drag to the bottom to choose a widget so i can bring up a widget right away instead of adding widgets on the desktop so that's what i have the app drawer looks like this and i can swipe out that productivity tab and it's going to brief me of my schedule emails or tasks or contacts favorite contacts if i have any just so blackberry things that i have and um, let's move on to the keyboard because that's the essential part of the blackberry experience and i can start typing by just pressing out those physical buttons that i can i can start typing just like that or you can swipe from the suggestions uh, if you think that they make sense so this week and whatever that means I can swipe or if you don't like the suggestion or the word that you have just typed you can just swipe just like that to erase a word by word and there we go I've erased the whole sentence so that's how the keyboard works on top of that it's also got a fingerprint reader right there on the space bar so I can go to security settings and here's a fingerprint menu continue and start registering my finger just like that and I can unlock the phone just by having my thumb on top of that fingerprint reader simple as that it's got a pretty solid camera as well you can just tap on that and here's a manual mode and you can also use that space bar for a shutter button it also does the 4K recording and it's got a pretty good sensor with the pretty bright f2.0 lens. So I have a fair amount of expectation for that camera. 
rest of the specs might not impress you. It's got a Snapdragon 625, 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigabytes of built-in storage, and Android 7.1.1 Nougat. And with the Android security patch of April 5th, 2017, that's not exactly the latest, but BlackBerry is committed to security as they even have a dedicated app called DTAG telling you how secure or unsecure your phone is, so you should be getting updates fairly often. If you're wondering about the size of the phone, thanks to the QWERTY keyboard, um, it has smaller screen, but as big as the Galaxy S8. But just keep in mind that the Galaxy S8 is not a big phone at all. If you want to compare it with a bigger phone to make things fair, here's the iPhone 7 Plus. It's slightly smaller than the iPhone 7 Plus. That means it's going to be slightly larger than the smaller iPhone 7. So somewhere in between of the Galaxy S8 and the iPhone 7 Plus. It's not exactly the big phone, but it's not the smallest phone either. It's got all the essential features and the QWERTY keyboard as a cherry on top. Just keep in mind that this cherry on top is not going to be cheap. Just because they slapped a QWERTY keyboard on top of a Snapdragon 625 device that's usually like 150 bucks, it's 550 bucks. So that's a pricey Snapdragon 625 phone, but still, Processor isn't exactly almost everything for most of the time, so I'm counting a lot on this very unique, you know, it's really hard to find a phone with the physical keyboard, so it's a great pleasure to have on top of that 2017 standard fingerprint reader add-on. We'll come back with the review very soon. Until then, you guys can meet us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And this was BlackBerry Key One. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys later. Ciao.